Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. It's all about this big area of high pressure moving into the west. It's five to seven days worth of warmer and drier than normal conditions. The exception, Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. That's where a lot of the moisture is going to go. First of all, though, bluebird skies, bluebird conditions up here. Uh, beautiful day up in Little Codwood Canyon, up at uh, Snowbird. I mean, look at that. This is the way it's going to be for quite some time. I don't think I have any snow for the next seven days at all for Utah, unfortunately, or California. Um, and I'll show you what I'm thinking on that in a second. Let me take you up to Whistler Black Home. If you're looking for a place to go, shoot for the Pacific Northwest, B.C., up towards the Banff area and Revelstoke, Marmot Basin, all those places will continue to get the flow. You can see it's cloudy. It's probably snowing a little bit there at the top of the mountain. You've got heavier precip coming, though. This is just the start. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So this is the forecast for integrated vapor transport. This is how we sort of pinpoint um, atmospheric river setups. And it looks like a weak to moderate intensity. You can see how it's going to ramp up here is coming to the Pacific Northwest. And then some of this will blow off into northern Idaho, northwest Montana, BC, the Banff areas. So it builds into the 11th, gets stronger into the 12th, and then maxes out 12, 13 into early 14 and then drops off. So that's the expectation for this atmospheric river in the Pacific Northwest. Let me show you how the flow is. I talked about this yesterday. So it's picking up all this moisture and it's going to slam it into the Pacific Northwest in BC. And then the flow is like going way over the top of the West. It's also splitting down to the South and doing this number. And in between, in between there's this big area of high pressure that is setting up across the Intermountain West. And really that's the pattern that will rule the West for the next five to seven days. Whereas on the other side of this, all this moisture is being directed on the north side up, and that's the atmospheric river that's going to materialize. So this is the pattern that will dominate for the next five to seven days. Let me show you what this could look like on the future, uh, on this future radar, this precip from the GFS, the American model. So let me take you into Tuesday morning. All the actions in the Pacific Northwest, high pressure lower 48 primarily. In northern Idaho gets some of this, but again, it's going to push snow levels high, so watch out. Um, so here's Wednesday morning. Here's Thursday morning. And then look at this. You see this front diving south down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming? That has its sights set on Colorado. Thursday night, Friday morning. Drops into the central and northern mountains with about an inch or two of snow. And then that's out. And that's one of the few blips on the radar with this pattern. It's back to high pressure Saturday, Sunday, uh, Monday morning right here, Tuesday, this is the 18th, and then here it comes. This might be the only true signal around the 18th, 19th, 20 of any sort of a change, of anything significant. Right there, you see that low spinning up, and it drops down through um, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado, and it drops snow down through all those areas. But again, that's way out there. That is nine days from now but that is a possibility. All right, let's talk totals. Here's my forecast. All of today through the 19th, notice I've got a little bit of snow for the central and northern mountains of Colorado. This is all minor in the lower 48, a bit more up around Schweitzer, but the big stuff's up uh, Baker, higher elevations, highest volcanoes, highest cascades, up in a Whistler, Blackcomb, mid-mountain mid -mountain or higher up there in BC. And Whistler, BC. Revelstoke gets about a foot, so does Marmot Basin, and a little bit less through Sunshine Village, Fernie, Kicking Horse, uh, Panorama. Um, that's where the bulk of the flow is going to be, and the flow in the snow. Everything, everybody else, I mean, it looks totally dry for Utah, New Mexico, Nevada, and California during that entire period. So where do we stand right now? Good time to take stock. Um, so Timberline, Timberline is at the top of the list right now. Let me take myself off of this so you can you can see this. Um, Timberline's up at 302. Revelstoke is right there at 280. It's been a good start to the season up in Revelstoke. Mammoth is there at 271, but you've got a mainly dry seven day, so you're not going to move. Neither will Palisades, Tahoe, Brighton, Alta, Grand Targhee May. Whistler, Whistler and Blackcomb will certainly move up this list. Um, I could see you adding a couple of feet. Um, there's Bachelor, there's Jackson Hole, Snowbird, but minimal on the way for Jackson Hole. Uh, Wolf Creek, I don't have anything in the next seven days, neither for Crested Butte. Uh, there's Loveland. 
uh, Vale, uh, maybe a tiny, tiny bit for Vale an inch or two over the next seven and maybe even nine days. So uh, there are some movers on this list, but the bulk of the list will not change. Uh, I just don't have much coming. Uh, but that's the way it looks right now. Um, and there are the totals. Uh, let me go back and we'll finish on the totals map here. That's it. Go and find yourself some powder over the next uh, five to seven days if you can. Pacific Northwest BC. Enjoy it. Take care. Always appreciate you tuning in.